I'm going to show you how to defeat Dr. Salvador on a fresh, professional difficulty save file, starting right now. First of all, I grinded this fight for 12 hours or so. I came up with maybe eight strategies in that time, and all of them were nothing compared to the consistency of this strategy I'm sharing with you right now. This fight can never be bullshit proof though. The villager spawn placements is the leading cause of what gets you killed. Can't be helped. I will be utilizing the pre-order bonus handgun and shotgun in this tutorial. The handgun being more important than the shotgun due to its superior clip size, damage, and firing speed. First, you need to gather ammo and health. Keep your knife in pristine condition until we enter the village gates. Don't use it otherwise. There are two extremely important pieces of loot to get before the fight, and they are both grenades. Grab the flash grenade in the tiny hut first. The next segment has to deal with two NPCs that you must watch out for. They roam in a predictable pattern, and you just need to avoid them seeing you while you grab loot around the town first. Old Lady Agnes and Water Paler Timmy. The lady starts up the road and ends up right in front of the first building with loot in it. Wait for her to exit the eastern ramp while also keeping an eye out for Water Paler Timmy. He will only spot you when he's doing his 180 degree turn. When he's walking toward the barn, he will not see you. Only when he's turning. Here is the path I take to grab as much ammo as I can before the brawl begins. When breaking loot crates, you're hoping for good RNG for getting handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, and even a rare frag grenade. Getting an extra frag grenade turns the tide of battle harder than getting handgun or shotgun ammo. Consider yourself lucky if you get a randomized hand grenade. If you find any blue crafting materials, save it until you run out of ammo completely. Don't craft anything ahead of time to maximize the game giving you ammo drops when it senses you're low on it. The first guaranteed frag grenade is inside this house. By entering it, you alert the fight to start though. Jump in, grab the grenade, and exit without grabbing the second crate in there. You want to exit before the enemy that saw you blocks your path. He has a buddy as well, and it gets messy if you grab that second crate, trust me. Exit through the barn. The barn is almost always safe from intercepting enemies. Proceed to the Salvador house and let the battle commence. Right off the bat, you want to turn slightly left and hold F to push the bookshelf. Immediately dart upstairs and grab the second frag grenade and the shotgun. Do not grab the shotgun shells upstairs. You don't have any time. Use the quick knife stab to break the glass since it's a bit faster and you're very pressed for time to do this correctly. Run back downstairs and grab the ammo, first aid spray, and quick stab those two barrels. Warning though, because you just used your knife on the barrels, Leon goes through a longer animation to pull out his gun again. So, as soon as you grab those items, pull out your gun by hitting the reload button. Leon also doesn't stop from full sprinting without taking a couple extra steps first. So, you'll need to stop before you think you need to stop as you position yourself on the side of the stairs to get ready to shoot Salvador in the face. As Salvador breaks through the door, he is intangible and cannot be harmed. You have to wait for the animation to end before you start firing. Sometimes he has some buddies that follow him, but most of the time not. You want to plant five bullets in his head using the Sentinel-9. That handgun's firing speed is faster than the Silver Ghost, so you'll be able to stagger him faster. There's about a 50% chance on the fifth bullet or so you stagger Salvador into turning around and giving you his back to stab with your knife. The stab does a ton of damage. Open fire on him while he's on the ground for three shots or so. Then toss your flash grenade. Proceed to stab him a second time after the flash grenade hits. Put some more bullets in his body, but give yourself enough time to safely get away. 
At this point, run up the stairs and take a quick look around if there's going to be enemies behind you. Then you can toss a frag grenade if you see a bunch of enemies clumped around him downstairs. If not, just run and jump out of the window. The window is safe because enemies will mostly try coming through the window. And once in a while, one comes around the side. Your goal is to shoot every enemy trying to exit the window while also taking shots at Salvador. When enemies clump together, throw a frag grenade at the wall to kill multiple enemies at once. The more enemies that die, the closer the battle ends itself, which is why frag grenades are awesome. If an enemy starts passing the window, you want to dispatch them using your shotgun and regain control of the crowd. Once one passes through, I'm telling you, you'll lose control of this domination. If they get through, use your shotgun until the crowd has been controlled. If that area gets swamped with enemies, you could always move to the bell tower and snipe enemies off that ladder. It's really tough to knock Salvador off the ladder though, so this tactic is only after he's dead. Just make sure to stand in front of the ladder because if anything touches you, including botched grenade throws, it will send you into the point of no return and the floor will break. I'll reshow a full fight without jump cuts. Thanks for watching. Come back.